I just need a blanket. Someone bring me a blanket. Hey everyone, welcome back to my series, Make My Space Work, the show where we gift hardworking entrepreneurs a complete office makeover. I'm your host and decor expert, Alexandra, and this series is brought to you by Shopify, the complete commerce platform to start, grow, and manage your business. Today I'm helping father-daughter duo, Jamie and Ruby, who own Ruby's, which is a form-fitting clothing line for transgendered kids. Hi, I'm Ruby and this is my dad, Jamie. We created the brand Ruby's to help non-binary and trans kids like me feel comfortable swimming, doing other activities that they love. We wanted to design a nice normal bottom, but it's designed just for kids. The business was really started out of necessity. Uh, last year, Ruby and I went on a trip to Panama and uh, we were looking for options that would help her feel safe on the beach and at the pool when we were there and there was a real lack of options for her so really that was where you know we uh, start to think about how we could make a business and really focus on you know creating um, clothing for trans kids our current workspace is a bit grim it's dark and not very cozy and really is not the greatest place to work. There's very little natural light and there's some ugly beiges and not any thought at all has been given to the design of the office to make it a comfortable working space. I want like a space that's like that looks nice and aesthetically pleasing for me to like hang out with my friends. I'd want like a chandelier, like a TV for my friends and me to like watch movies and have fun and a comfy couch. I'm assuming that's after all the work's done and homework, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alexandra, Alexandra, help, help us, us make, make our space work. work. Right now, this home office that Jamie and Ruby are working out of doesn't work for anyone. It is very dark and the dark bluey gray walls do not help with that. There's a tiny window that lets in hardly any light. There's a really big desk kind of shoved behind the door, which is not a very nice space for anyone to work in. There's lots of filing cabinets. There's this bookcase that kind of juts out beside this closet. Also, can we talk about the closet? It is so small. It's all open. There's no door on it. So this tiny little home office has to do so many different things. Ruby has to do her homework here. It's also a place where she's gonna hang out with her friends. Jamie has to run his business from this space. And then sometimes, occasionally, Ruby's mom also wants to use it to work from home as well. So that's where I come in. I don't think I've ever done a makeover for a young person and her parents. So this is going to be a challenge. I'm really excited. Let's get started. So it's makeover day, really exciting. So far we've had this entire space painted white. What a difference, it's so bright compared to that dark color. And when you have a tiny dark room with absolutely no natural light, always go lighter on your wall color. It's gonna make it feel more open, a little bit bigger and so much brighter. We've also moved out all the stuff that was in this office so I can start with a blank slate, which is my favorite. I love an empty room. There's like so many possibilities. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring in a large area rug, which is gonna add tons of warmth to the space. I went with this bold geometric patterned rug, and the reason is because I wanna keep things pretty neutral so that Ruby's parents can enjoy the space, but then I wanna bring in these bold kind of pops of color and pattern to make it feel a little bit more playful. Ruby, like any tween, loves a good sleepover, um, and it was a necessity that we bought in a sofa bed into the space, so I got her a more stylish, velvet, beautiful sofa that turns into a futon, which is awesome. Ruby is very into aesthetic. She has a very specific style, but I also had to make this room feel sophisticated at the same time because her parents are gonna be using it. So that's why I went with this charcoal velvet sofa. The charcoal is timeless. It's a color I think everyone loves. It's neutral, but then the velvet makes it look stylish. This piece of furniture is so multifunctional and in a small space where so many people are using this office, every piece of furniture needs to count and do more than one thing. So Chico's not helping us with the makeover today because he broke three of his ribs. Chico, why? But he somehow managed to build a custom desk for this space. Chico, 
we love you. The reason I chose to go with a custom desk is because it needed to fit nicely in this corner. The reason I figured out that it would fit in this corner is just by doing a to scale diagram on Photoshop. You guys should be doing the same thing when you're working with a really small space like this where a lot of stuff needs to fit. It's just a really easy way to see things visually, move things around and see where their placement makes the most sense. So because this little corner was maybe narrower than I would have liked, I obviously can't like expand the walls. So what I had Chico do was make the desk deeper. Suddenly we have this really large desk space with like tons of surface area. I added some legs to this desk. I drilled a hole in the top for cords to go through. And then I hung this awesome shelf for extra storage. And now I'm placing their printer right in the corner. At first I was gonna put it on the shelf, but it's way too bulky. So I'm just tucking it away in the corner here. This also frees up the shelf to put the monitor that they have. Um, so when Ruby has sleepovers, she can watch movies up here, sit on the sofa. Someone please tell me why like the sleekest, most slim printer has not been invented. Or if I don't know that it already exists, please, please link it below because I need to know. Next up, I'm bringing in a really simple desk chair, but this can be adjusted to different heights. So multiple different people can sit in this chair. And I also want to remind you that the sofa is going to add lots of seating as well. So I'm not usually a matchy matchy type of person. Um, I really love like mixing and matching colors and patterns, but because this is such a small space and because the chair is so close to the sofa, I thought it'd be nice to actually match both the color and material. Um, and I actually think it really, it really works. It makes the space feel very put together and styled. Also guys, I just want to assure you, don't worry, I measured. When Ruby has sleepovers and folds this into a bed, it totally fits. It probably looks really small on camera. Um, but also this chair can be moved to this side of the desk. So there's tons of room for this sofa to turn into a bed. Next up, I have the chandelier light here that is going to be installed. I chuckled because Ruby requested a chandelier in the office. And I was like, what a tween thing to want. Like I too would want a chandelier, but I knew I couldn't go too over the top. So I settled for this really beautiful modern chandelier. And I feel like it kind of finds the balance between being super stylish for a tween, but also like classy and sophisticated for her parents. I really like this. I feel like this light is a winner. It looks so, so good. So good. Also not to mention, it brings so much warm light into this space. Like the minute I turned it on, I was like, yes, <laughs> this is what this room needed. Makeover's done. I know it's probably hard to tell with all of our video lights in the room, but this room is really dark and I knew I needed to bring in even more light. So that's where this beautiful modern arched floor lamp comes in and it's just gonna sit right beside the sofa. Ready? I love arched lamps like this because I feel like they just fill corners so nicely. I'm really excited about the art piece I'm bringing into this room. It is a bright pink color. You guys ready to see this print? It is so fun. It's bright pink. And I feel like this pop of color is just gonna look so good in here. We have mostly like wood tones and dark, like we have black and uh, the charcoal sofa and chair. Um, and so I obviously picked this very intentionally. I wanted this space to have like a really bold pop of color. My favorite part, peeling off the plastic. I really wish this would just work. <laughs> Ready? Oh yeah. This is a good tip for you guys at home as well, because if you are someone who is kind of afraid to like dabble in the world of color um, and you like things more neutral, I say like start small and just go with a really bold print. Art is so easy to change up whenever you feel like it. Um, so it's good to like kind of test, test the waters. Okay, you guys ready? This print is specifically for Ruby. I feel like it just encapsulates her. Um, so I wanted to hang something bright and bold above the sofa. When you're designing a small space, specifically an office, I know the thing that trips up a lot of people is like, where do I put all those necessities that I absolutely need? One of those pieces of furniture, I feel like 
we all you know, loathe but need is a filing cabinet. It's like, what do you do with a filing cabinet? Where does it go? In this case, I'm thinking outside the box and using it as a side table. I feel like it's a really great compromise. Jamie, you know, can have all his stuff filed here, but Ruby can use it as a side table for like drinks and snacks when her friends come over. Jamie did have three filing cabinets, but he condensed all of the files he needs into just one cabinet, which is also a tip, purge, declutter. That is a huge step that you should do when you're making over a tiny space like this. I like how this cabinet is a little bit retro, and I kind of think it fits in with the rest of the decor. So next up, I've brought in this side table, and the coolest thing about this is that it can be moved to the side of the sofa to be a place for drinks when they're watching movies on the monitor, or its real purpose is a little lap desk. So Ruby can be doing homework when her dad's working at the desk, or she can be writing her cards, um, which fit nicely in this drawer. This way, Ruby and her dad don't have to fight over who's working at the desk. They each get their own little space and they can both work in here at the same time. Now I'm hanging curtains over this tiny window. To begin, this window just had these blackout blinds. I'm keeping these when Ruby has sleepovers, makes the room nice and dark. But I wanted to add curtains because I felt like without them, this window was kind of an eyesore. It was like, oh, there's a tiny window right in the middle of the wall. And it is amazing what a big difference such a small change makes. I had fun with it. I added a gold decorative curtain rod and these curtains have a bit of texture in them. So it's adding something to the room, but also also being functional as well. You guys, did you ever do this game where you like press your hands so hard against a door frame and then watch? Are you ready? <laughs> ready? <laughs> That's so weird. It is so weird. Have you ever done that? So you guys probably noticed that there's this awkward little closet. And I say awkward because it is tiny. Like. Like the width of me. So honestly, there is not much we can do in this closet. It is so narrow. I think the only thing that would maybe be beneficial is like wall to wall shelving. But Jamie and Ruby have tons of camera equipment. They have lighting. So I think that's going to fit super perfectly um, at the bottom. So there's not much I can do inside this closet. But on the outside, I am hanging this beautiful beaded curtain. Honestly, I feel like when I hear beaded curtain, I kind of think a little bit kitschy, but I found a really, really beautiful one that again looks sophisticated, but still is kind of playful uh, because I'm really trying to balance like pleasing Ruby, who is a tween and, you know, also making it a space that her parents can enjoy as well. Now it's time to add some finishing touches. My favorite part, I'm adding some stationery, a plant, a couple of throw cushions, a cozy faux sheepskin, and these adorable cards that Ruby writes on whenever they ship out an order. And this last finishing touch is probably the most important thing going up in this room. It is a custom portrait of Ruby and her dad right above the desk. I feel like custom pieces like this in an office just make such a difference, especially when you are running a small business. It's just a really sentimental reminder of where they started, they're a duo, and I hope that it inspires them to keep going. Okay, so we're done the makeover, and I walked into the room and I was like, it just something doesn't look right. And then it clicked. I realized that the filing cabinet should totally be on the other side of the room and the floor lamp should be the focal point when you walk in because right now it's just kind of like empty space. Really, I think if I was gonna leave the filing cabinet there, I'd need a really big plant to add like lots of height. But I thought, let's just do an easy switch. I'm gonna put the filing cabinet on that side, put the floor lamp on this side, and it's just gonna look way more visually appealing when you walk in. So now I'm just gonna have to take those drawers out and carry the whole thing over to the other side. But we're almost done, we're almost there. Let's do it. Honestly, this usually happens a lot when I'm making over a room. Sometimes you just have to move things around until it feels absolutely 
perfect. One of the most rewarding and I would say exciting things about producing this show has been meeting all of these amazing people who have started businesses from their living room. And I'm super passionate about Shopify because they make that happen for people just like you sitting at home watching this being like, should I start a candle business or an apparel business and how do I start? And the truth is, is that a lot of the times you don't need a ton of money to start a business. Shopify actually has a list of low investment businesses that you can start from home with a couple hundred dollars. They have a blog post dedicated to so many different ideas that hopefully you find inspiration from. That article is linked down below. I would encourage you to take a look See what businesses are out there that you can start with a couple hundred dollars. And I honestly wish that I had have read all of these resources that Shopify offers when I was starting a business. There's just like so much inspiration and easy steps and tips and tricks that they offer to help you start a business that's going to thrive. So it's finally time to reveal the space to Ruby and Jamie. I'm feeling a bit nervous. I feel like a tween's opinion is just you know, the most real opinion there is. So let's hope they like it and let's bring them in. Stay right there. Okay, so don't open. <laughs> but before you open, I want you to picture what this space looked like before. Do you remember? The walls were like a dark grayish blue. Yeah. And then over there, there was like a table and then a white couch over there. Lots of filing cabinets. No light. No light. No light. I was gonna say, oh, Disney, so we didn't install any windows, but. Okay, so on the can of three. A skylight, maybe? <laughs> on the can of three, I want you to both open your eyes. Are you, are you excited? Okay, oh, yeah. one, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow. Wow. I love it. Yeah, look at the ceiling. Look at the, the chandelier. <laughs> so this sofa turns into a bed, wow. which is awesome for sleepovers. Wow. This looks great. Good. I like the organization. I like. I like how it's on. Um, this you know, side. The way it's oriented. Yeah. You have a huge desk. You can either both sit at the desk, but also Ruby, we got you a little like lap desk, so you can write your notes or do your homework while your dad's working at the desk. We kept you a filing cabinet, tucked it over there as like a side table. Oh, we got you a new curtain for that closet. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's great. <laughs> Is it Thank aesthetic? You. So cool. It's aesthetic. That's so cool. Check it out. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, and then the custom illustration. Thank you. You're welcome. You like wow, it? I love it. Hi friends, I have an announcement. Sadly, the series Make My Space Work is coming to an end. So the episode you just watched is the last episode in this series. This series has been such a joy to produce this past year, especially because we've all been trying to navigate working from home and this new normal. I want to thank Shopify for making this series happen. It's been incredibly inspiring to meet so many amazing entrepreneurs who are hustling hard and living out their dreams as small business owners. To have been able to make their working spaces a little more functional and a lot more colorful has seriously been such an honor. If you haven't binged the entire two seasons of Make My Space Work, I encourage you to do so after this episode. We produced over 20 makeovers so go check them out now if you haven't already. And as always, I will still be uploading to my main channel. I do lots of makeovers for small spaces. I have tons of new series launching, um, so you can find me there. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any videos. Thank you guys so much for supporting this series and watching all of the makeovers. This project has been so fun to work on. Go subscribe to me on my main channel and I will see you guys over there. Bye.